Epilepsy warning. <laughs> this intro contains a lot of flashing image effects, <laughs> and this may hurt your eyes, and it may cause people like you <laughs> to have epilepsy or even seizure. <laughs> For the people that don't really have epilepsy or seizure, nor are afraid of flashing image effects, then feel free to <laughs> enjoy this October 2024 intro. <laughs> And for the people that do have epilepsy or seizure, <laughs> please make sure you turn down your brightnesses on either your iPads, mm-hmm. iPhones, <laughs> Kindles, Android phones, Samsung phones, mm-hmm. HTC phones, <laughs> Hawaii phones, Google Pixel phones, <laughs> Nokia phones, <laughs> ASOS phones, Alcatel phones, <laughs> ZTE phones, Motorola phones. Xiaomi phones, Sony phones, <laughs> Blackberry phones, and OnePlus phones, so that you won't have epilepsy or seizure. Thank you. Hello there my spooktacular pals, and welcome to the ninth episode of TPL Response Season 9. Today is October 9th, 2024. And yes guys, this is my very first time using the TTS Sally voice for my response videos for my first ever time. The last time I used the TTS Sally voice was back in December 2021 to October 7, 2022 for my OC Gashu Life female character for my Vion style rants and salutes which I don't do Vion style rants and salutes anymore. And yes, my OC Gacha Life character has 8 variants. So for the first variant, it was a lovely magenta, pink, blue and purple variant of my character. I had it from December 2021 to January 15, 2022. And then, here we had one that was red and white. I used it from January 15, 2022 to January 25, 2022. And then I was using the blue and white variant one. I use it from January 25, 2022 to January 29, 2022. And then I use the one that was red, black and white. I used it from January 29, 2022 to February 8, 2022. And then I use the one in green, black and red variant. I used it for February 8, 2022 to February 15, 2022. And then, moving on to the Halloween themed one that was black, red, gray, and orange. I used it from February 15, 2022 to October 7, 2022. Next up we had an Easter themed one that was in green and purple variant. I used that from March 18, 2022 to April 15, 2022. And finally, we had a summer themed one that was in completely light and normal blue variant. I used it from May 8, 2022 to June 10, 2022 before I moved on to the Blotagon version. So there you go. It has been 852 days or 733 days ago since I last used the Sally voice for my own characters, making it the rarest TTS voice I have used for my own characters. Man, that sure has been a very very long time. Oh yes guys, I remember the time when I started my first ever commentaries. I was absolutely terrible at it. Because, all I did in my very old commentary videos was bash opinions instead of handling opinions. Note, I know that that thing I did was from the past, but still, what I did there was just messed up, and I totally regret from doing that but until very late 2022 and early 2023, I started to improve a wee bit. But I still had some opinion bashing moments in them. Even though I don't bash opinions anymore and even that was also from the past, but still. And now, since late 2023 and to this year, 2024, I am starting to be very, very good at doing commentary slash responses. I now have some hood and long words to put into my sentences, and I am just very 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 happy about it. Oh, 
And also, before I start, I just want to tell you all two things. Number one. I have switched locations for season 2 episode 4 yet again. But this time, I am not going to go to the pumpkin patch at Ballandary, which is in Cookstown, because, back in Sunday, my mum told me that the pumpkin patch at there is not doing one this year. Instead, I am going to be going to Woodview Garden Center in Armagh to go to the pumpkin patch that is very quiet there with no loud crowded noises. And that my friends, is called an autism session, where all people, including me, who have autism, can go there. And yes, I am going to that pumpkin patch on October 18th. Oh man, I seriously just love October so goddamn much. It is just my favorite month of all time, because of Halloween and the pumpkin patch. Me and my mom are the ones going there. And that day is hopefully also one day, which is October 19th, hopefully before I hopefully hope that there will be a Halloween party with my friends. And if that does happen, I am going to be dressing up as Miles Morales, a Spider-Man character made back in 2011. But I have got a PS4 and PS5 game version of him. And for my costume, I will not only wear the helmet, but I am also going to equip it with a red hooded jacket. Why? Because, back in July to August 2024, when I first watched the Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse movie, I have seen the scene of where Miles Morales was wearing a red hooded jacket along with his green bomber jacket. But I am only going to wear a red hooded jacket with it, and I am going to put my hood up on the helmet to make it look very cool. But I did try it with a black hoodie, and it looks so dope as hell. So guys, see whenever the Halloween party hopefully starts on October 19th, do you think I should let my character wear a black jacket, or a red jacket? Please remember to type down your answers in the comments. I really hope it does happen on October 19th. Because, last year it started on October 21st of 2023. And I dressed up as Black Panther my number two favorite Marvel character right next to Miles Morales, aka, Spider-Man. And I really loved my Black Panther costume showcase so much. It was unbelievable. I did very good poses, and stances, and custom poses and stances for my Black Panther. For example, I made my own Black Panther pose by lifting my left arm up in the air with my left hand flopped down, my right arm down, my right hand aiming for the floor and my right leg stretched out, and my left leg bent. Oh god, that is my favorite one I did. And this is also another reason on why Halloween is my favorite holiday of all time, because of the Halloween party with my friends and me coming in as Black Panther. And for this year, I am coming in as Miles Morales. And I think before or after the Halloween party, I did a commentary on Basalt's rant on Foxy, and I used a Nigerian singer. Kalo in that video. So there we have it. And number 2. There is now 8 more days until my YouTube channel's 8th year anniversary. Whoop de frickin do. So anyways, after that very long introduction, for today's response episode, I am going to be doing another response on Kyle the PTBF 2002 and WAYYCBACPN fan. And this is going to be on his commentary on Commentary on We Seen and Yondel Yes Cardi B and Charlie Puth Nose ran on him. And in this video, I am portraying as this magician from Indonesia, called, Marie Antoinette Rihanna Grarani, aka, The Sacred Rihanna. Because I remember watching some of her creepy doll magic audition act, and she also won an Asia's Got Talent 2017 for her amazing and creepy magic act. So without further ado, let us now begin the response. Off we go. Fight the intro. Let's just get started. Hello everyone, it's Jay here once again, and I'm back with another her commentary. And this commentary will be on Wizen and Yao Yes Cardi B and Charlie Poof Nose rant on me. Now, I know that rant will suck, because he gave out invalid reasons to hate me. No. He has good reasons. I highly doubt. And I have But anyways, let's go. Well your commentary is going to suck you bitch. Actually Kyle, it is the other way around. How? Because, your commentary will either one that will suck. Because Jay Kaiser has some good points in his commentary video, unlike what you do. Hey guys. 
guys. Welcome to the 13th episode of Wizen and Yandel Yes Cardi B and Charlie Puth No Rant. And today, it will be on Jay Kaiser. If you like this user, then start hating him right now. Opinion basher much? People can like me if they want to. Nope. You should know they're going to lie if you can make them a criminals. <laughs> Are you seriously stupid or something, Kyle? Supporting a user that somebody liked does not make them a criminal. Like, seriously, Kyle. That has got to be one of the stupidest thing I have ever heard from you. Supporting a user that somebody likes does not make them a freaking criminal, you biggest dumbass. This proves that you are using the word, criminal, in the wrong context. Because, that doesn't make them a criminal. Or else I'll cut your fingers. Hey, you know these threats don't work, you know. You death threat sender. Shut the fuck up, no one cares no, you're fucking place. Trash. But anyways, enjoy. No, I'm not going to enjoy your rant on me. SHUT UP! Hey Kaiser, no. More like JJ Kaiser, the retarded fat ass dick. Oh. That was one of the worst insults you ever you can come up with. Shut up! Oh my God, this user sucks. Here are my reasons why I hate him. Give out valid reasons, then, jerk. Shut up! One, when he sees a bad video out of him, he freaks out. No, I do not. I just leave it alone. Yes, you did. You dipshit. That's bullshit! And does a commentary on it, too. Well, I have the rights to do commentaries on videos if I want to. I'm sorry. And, and yeah, my commentaries are way better than yours. Nope. His commentaries are way better than yours, Jay Kaiser. Congratulations, you are an opinion basher. He ranted on his haters, proving that he can't handle hate. Are you serious, dude? You just brought up my past. Plus, I don't rant out of my haters now, do I? No. So please, leave me alone. He doesn't care if we bring up your past. Well, obviously he does, because he was willing to make that rant video on Jay Kaiser. So go- Stop right there, you monster. This is Aething Moose speaking to you. Are you trying to send a death wish to your hated people? Bro, you should know that you cannot send anyone death wishes. Because, sending death wishes to your hated people proves that you are a cold-hearted jerk. And you could easily get into huge trouble for sending those types of wishes. Let's skip this part and continue with the response. And I don't give a flying shit if it's from the past. Well, you should, because bringing up somebody's past is wrong. Shut the fuck up, no one cares about it. It's your fucking place, trash. Three, he's a criminal supporter of Jonah Campbell. So what? I have the rights to like Shark Rocks if I want to. So deal with it. He cannot handle people denying his apologies. Well, I can now handle people denying my apologies. So, yeah. But in reality, we have the right to deny his apology. Yeah, no crap, Sherlock. Well, Jay Kaiser, your apology is denied for good because you scrapped. Five. He cannot handle people ranting on him. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Bullshit! THERE'S FUCKING BULLSHIT! Hey, stop right there. This is Lebron James speaking to you. Are you trying to speed up someone's important part? Bro, you should know that speeding up someone's important part proves that you can't handle the truth that they are saying to you, and you are just gonna deny the truth that they are saying to you. Let's skip this part. 6. He ranted on Kurt Busch with invalid reasons. Well, guess what? I can hate Kurt Busch whenever I want to. So suck it up. Well, guess what? Jesus wrote a commentary on your rant on Kurt Busch because you have invalid reasons on your rant. 7. He threatened to cut Caillou's private part off. Once again, that was from the past. And I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Oh my god, you do realize that is illegal and you could get arrested for that. Yeah, no crap, Sherlock. 
8. He's a criminal supporter of the Panther Lover. Shut, Shut up! 9. He rages in all caps. Proving he's a Andriel Godino de Oliveira wannabe. Where's your proof then? Even though she's not any better. 10. He ranted on bubble guppies with invalid reasons. Well, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, <laughs> shut up, shut up! 11. He's a criminal supporter of JJ the Hershey Chocolate Fan 2006. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, <laughs> shut, up shut up! 12. He praises Sesame Street like it's God. No. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! 13. He committed CP. Four Where's your proof? That I committed CP. Because I did not commit CP at all. 13. He is nothing but a white knight of Makiko the rapper offline guy. Hey! You need to know that Michael or oh, the, the the flashy guy hates being called Mikiko. And plus, I'm not a white knight of him. We're just good friends. Fifteen. He takes Peter Animate way too seriously. Six. What? Shut up! Sixteen. He has channel rules, proving he's a hypocrite. I don't have channel rules anymore because I removed them. So deal with it. And I don't give a shit if it's from the past. Well, you should, because bringing up someone's past is not okay. We can bring up your past whatever we want. No, the hell you guys can't. Because bringing up people's past is not a very good choice. It will always make someone's life worse or be put in serious danger. 17. He needs to suck my blood. Pervert and vampire much. SHUT UP! 18. He praises phone number like he's God. No, I do not. Me and phone number are just good friends. Yes, you did, you bitch. Bullshit! Thank God I'm making grounded videos out of Jay Kaiser. Well, you need to know that making grounded videos out of users are cyberbullying. Truth and fortune stuff can go like that, not no pain job, I mean... Your he said, show the car. 19 and finally, he is the main reason why the NASCAR community and the NHL community has been toxic since 2021. Okay, since when did I make the NASCAR and NHL communities toxic? And Jay Kaiser, if you're watching this, I hope this rant will teach you a lesson on your birthday. Well, shut, shut up! And don't comment, fuck you. Or else you're doing the same thing as Christmas Yes Sunny Day Knows 2020. Anyways, end of rant. Is everything we wow, that rant sucked. And he came up with invalid reasons to hate me. Anyways, see you later. No thanks, Etro. Oh my god, that commentary of his was horrible. Because he kept on denying the truth once again. And this now makes him a massive truth denier. So anyways, this is the end of this response episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this response episode, then, you know what to do. Alright, I shall see you all next time in my next response episode, starting tomorrow. Farewell.